That's our vintage deliveries. <gasps> oh, shit! Stop it! Welcome to this week's episode of the Lads Film Thing Podcast, where four friends discuss a film and generally have a good time. And be warned, there will be spoilers. This week, we're looking at the recently released film on Netflix called Damsel, starring Millie Bobby Brown, Robin Wright, Angela Bassett, and a host of other amazing actors and actresses. Not host, like two more. A a few more other people, yeah. Uh, So, today we have Lucy. Hi. Abby. Hi. Sam. No, me, Dan, (laughs) and Sam. Hi. Okay, who wants to kick us off and talk about the plot of this film? I'd like to know who directed it. (laughs) Oh, yes, you're right. It was directed by Juan Carlos Fresnadillo. No, you did it again. Juan, Please correct him. Juan Carlos Fresnadillo. Oh, that would yeah, be yeah, it's place, 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 no. I did my best, everybody. Okay, who wants to kick us off with the plot? Who's doing the plot? Oh, is uh, it you, Sam? <laughs> don't think so. I did Green Lantern. I can never get at the plot. Ab. Oh, Luke. Oh, no, Ab. <laughs> <laughs> I do be fair. Okay, do want let's do the plot together. Okay. okay. Let's do it. So there's a girl, Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. And she lives with her sister and her mum and dad. No. Nope. Stepmother. Stepmother. She was very clear. Yeah. Yes. Hello, stepmother. Stepmother. <laughs> and we all knew that was so, spoiler, at the end she called her mum. And it was adorable. Yeah. I mean, I still loved it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Anytime kids are nice to their parents, we love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it just does not happen enough in our lives. Um, so there's Millie Bobby Brown. She lives with her stepmother and her mum and her sister. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Millie Bobby Brown. She she is essentially married off to another <laughs> prince for money. Is that yeah. right? To help yeah. their people because yeah. yeah, they're people that were starving. Although like they were doing all right, weren't they? She could afford makeup and like, nice hair. Yeah, she looked so. amazing. That's just yeah. the way it is with kings and. True that, true that. Um, So yeah, she's essentially marrying for that reason. But then... But then... Twist. Mm. Twist. um, Amazingly, like, obvious twist as it was happening, wasn't it? There's... They keep... They talk about, like, a ceremony, and then they go up to the top of a mountain, and Mm. they mix their blood together on their hands. Yeah. Yeah. That was a bit weak. It was weak, and it was yeah. also weird when Millie Bobby Brown, Princess Elodie, I want to say, yeah, oh yeah, she put her head on the prince's shoulder, like that was very weird. Carry me, shoulder hug, <laughs> um, and he threw her in with the dragon, yeah, and then basically it was the story of her and the dragon, and their her trying to get away from the dragon, and then. Yeah, but then she doesn't get eaten by the dragon and the family find out and they go and take her sister and want to sacrifice her to the dragon because they're owed from that family, aren't they? Yeah. And then she works out how to rescue her sister. Reconciles with the dragon. Yeah. And then they rain fire down Yeah. on that woman from House of Cards. Yeah, <laughs> on the dragon-fearing, sacrificing royalty family mm-hmm. yeah. yeah 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 that's a good summary this is like a drunk history where it's yeah it's true. <laughs> Still, it works. but that is everything that happens. that's everything yeah. like yeah wait hang on the dad dies we just oh yeah slot oh, that yeah. in the Winston, death. Yeah. yeah yeah and the dad dies <laughs> so let's chat about the cast and characters who's your favorite character everybody i liked millie bobby brown yeah i thought she was good um, what I actually really liked was I've seen her in a couple of other things, like the uh, that Sherlock Holmes spin-off. That she oh, was in Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when we were watching that, I was like, oh, yeah, she's just Eleven from Stranger Things. But in this film, I was like, oh, she just is a different person. Like, she did really well at just becoming a I much person. preferred her as Nola Holmes than this. Really? Yeah. I thought this was just her doing a more British accent than she has. Oh, know. right. Oh, okay. I thought she was pretty cool. I mean, the thing is, there's a limited choice of characters in this. Yeah. There really yeah. isn't that mm. much to choose from. But I yeah. thought she was okay. Actually, Agreed. Agreed. I like the dragon. Correct. Yeah. 
That is the right answer. There's only one single right answer, and that was it. <laughs> uh, yeah, really good dragon. I mean, the whole plot relies on the fact that the dragon can speak and understand people. Yeah. yeah. Which is fine. We'll go with it. Mm-hmm. Although I didn't like her eyes. Goat eyes. No, no. Yeah, she did have goat eyes, didn't she? Yeah. Been... At least Millie Bobby Brown did the right thing and stabbed one of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then he grew back. Yeah. It is. Anyone yeah. who's listening should go back and check out our Men Who Stare at Goats episode and hear a bit more about what we think about goat's eyes. Good call, Abby. Yeah. Hmm. Anyone else like any of the other characters or dislike them, maybe? I disliked mm. Prince Henry. No. Oh. It was a bit of a wet fish, wasn't he, and a bit lame. He was, yeah. yeah. Especially as, like, he's in on the plan yeah. the whole time and then at the end... You're just a bit like, oh, okay, he's not, he doesn't like have any kind of like transformation, like, yeah, I'm evil or anything like that. Like in Get Out, all of those characters are in on it, aren't they? And then it's a real flip where he, uh, the main guy finds out and they're like, yeah, well, we're in on it. And they just transform characters. Yeah. And in this, he was just the same, just lame. And he also person. didn't have any redeeming arc. Yeah. Did he? It wasn't like he thought. This is, I don't know, yeah, I could fix this whole situation or whatever. He did have, like, moments of that, didn't he? Like, it's not right, Mum, but then just went and did it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a bit, like, lame, like, either, yeah, like you say, properly, like, refuse and actually stand up for yourself or just get involved, lean in to the murder. Yeah, yeah. It was annoying. Lean into the murder. Well, like that, like (laughs) dithering in the middle was just so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. The only good thing it is when the dragon was there at the end, he did kind of embrace his death. He was like, he he acknowledged he deserved it. Yeah. I think that should be on our t shirts. Lean into the murder. (laughs) (laughs) You you mean as we segue to a true crime podcast? Yes. (laughs) Which, let's face it, is what I've been going for the whole time. Yeah, I know you have. (laughs) Um, My. Favorite. It's very hard to pick. I mean, I'm a bit worried about just doing a Green Lantern and being like Angela Bassett, I guess, because yeah. she's amazing. She was good. She was good, yeah. She was good. She's in a lot of films. Yeah, she's yeah. good. She's popping up everywhere. Mm. Yeah, she's great. Mm. Um, but you said the dragon was your favorite. Yeah, but I feel like I want somebody different. I think one of the things that struck me with this film was I don't know who it was for. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if it's for, like, 15-year-olds, maybe. No. No? Because 15-year-olds want to watch 18. Okay. Oh, yes, hello. 10-year-olds? 12-year-olds. 12-year-olds. That makes us look really lame that we were set down to watch it. Well. Sam told us to. We're, like, mid-20s, and it's definitely not for us. (laughs) (laughs) Tumbleweed. (laughs) Crickets. (laughs) Crickets. They don't know what tumbleweed is. <laughs> Such old man references. We don't understand you. Yeah, I just didn't really know who this was for. So it's for 12-year-olds, is it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think between 10 and 12 is probably the key demographic, really. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. I hadn't really thought about that. But that tagline that's like, it's not a fairy tale. Maybe, maybe it was that. Yeah. Maybe that is aim- like aimed at kids that actively i don't want to be kids anymore mm. yeah essentially are still kids yeah. yeah so maybe we're not the target audience no but it still had some enjoyability i think maybe yeah um have you said your favorite character Liz? i did i i don't know who is my favorite character i probably would go with millie bobby brown as well she was good but like I did find it a bit forced, maybe, but I think that's probably the story rather than like her acting. She did it really well, but like the whole when like when she cut her hair and like put all that armor together <laughs> and like that little montage, I was a bit like, yeah. well, this is a little bit cringe. She didn't need to cut her hair. I know it kind of showed her cutting it together, but I'm sure there was something else she could have used. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she could just cut a little bit off. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's that's that wouldn't thing. have worked. Would it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know she quit, didn't she? Um, well, she didn't quit Strange Things, did she? But wasn't there a few, like, conversations, like, a year or so ago where she was like, I want to do other things. Oh, right. And then I was like, is this it? Is this what you wanted to do? Cause... Yeah, this is a bit, <laughs> this is a basic film, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Stranger Things is so much better as an entirety of yeah. concept yeah. than this film. In terms of storytelling and stuff. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. I do get it. I mean, 
it must be hard to be a young actor and come up like the same with Daniel Radcliffe like and then you want to do other things but you're essentially only known for that one thing you did when you were growing up um but yeah like you said like if you want to do other things like Manola Home Enola Holmes would be good. Yeah. 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 But this one is pretty basic. Yeah. I do like her as a person though. Well, yeah. When I've seen yeah. her on I don't know what I've seen her on. Chat shows, that thing. Sure. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're a thing. She's always really good and she's like I don't know, yeah. I do feel she has had the spotlight on her for a while, like going through that weird growing into an adult yeah. bit. Yeah. So I'm glad she was in it. She did well. Hmm. Also, high up Stranger Things. Oh my yeah. god, I can't <laughs> wait for that. Yep. Um, it's just a good time to discuss favourite scenes then. Yes. Yeah. Good. Sam? So we watched this in two halves, and the mm. first half we got a little bit bored with. But then when we started again, it was really interesting. Yeah. And I can't remember what that was. Um, It was when was she. Was it the dad? When he went yeah. to the cave? Yeah, they yeah. were looking for her, weren't they? So something in the second half, I think, when I actually started to get a bit more, when it stopped being so kind of guessable and obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Although that was definitely something that all the way through, it was like watching an old Poirot or something, wasn't it? That every single thing you were like, now this is going to happen like two seconds oh, yeah. later, yeah, yeah. it was happening. Yeah. Well, the dad's going to die with the clock. Oh, it's happening right now. Like <laughs> just everything. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, like, there's a young sister, she's going to get taken. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I like the ending. <laughs> oh, the credits. <laughs> Not the credits. Like, so it's over. <laughs> no, because I, I had the same thoughts of you. Like, I knew the dragon was, well, I, I hoped the dragon was going to turn good in the end and they were going to team up. And, like, I was waiting for that to happen. And it did. But, well, it wasn't on for very long, that bit. I was hoping that would come earlier. But that bit where they were just, like, I don't know, blew up the... The castle that was really good was my favorite bit yeah mm. Mm. i liked a couple of bits but one that really stuck in my mind and i think i said it when i was watching it but it's when she first falls down into the pit and she's trying to work out what happens and a bird comes out and it's like on fire and then like a hundred oh, birds really come good. out it looks visually really spectacular yeah. it's kind of like really ominous that's, that's what would happen yeah yeah, yeah, that was really great. And you still were kind of like, oh my goodness. I mean, obviously, you kind of know there's oh going to be a goodness. monster. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my claws. <laughs> you know, there's going to be a monster. You still don't know what it's going to look like. That was really kind of, yeah. Kind I of, we knew it was a yeah. dragon. Yeah, I know. But yeah. That was like the only bit of Ooh, suspense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was good. Poor birds, though. No? Yeah. yeah. Poor little bastards. What about you, Abby? Uh, two. I did think what you guys said like the the shots were pretty amazing yeah like it had a lot of really a lot of promise mm. it's a shame because it felt like the story literally let it down in every single way that it could but the shots and the world and all of that stuff i was like this is fun i it looked amazing. stuff happening here yeah. just not this because this is presumably something boring happening while something else interesting happened also, I really liked, though, when she had those little leeches that were all yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, bright, little... colourful. Yeah. Yeah. And she was like, I won't hurt you. Oh. And then she put it in a bag. Yeah, yeah which was she weird. She put it on her skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she put it on a dragon. Yeah. So to fix its eye. Yeah. 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 But also, that bit where she's climbing out of that crystal bit. Oh, that was really yeah. good. Yeah. That was really good. Like, that was good. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to see something else this director's done, because yeah. yeah. all the shots were really good, just yeah. the story wasn't quite strong enough yeah yeah i guess yeah like not strong enough for us but like we said oh, yeah. maybe for a 12 year old yeah. this is kind of right on the money maybe yeah because yeah. like we're probably looking for like some kind of good plot twist or something like that but actually it's got a really strong main character that you can get behind and they then she teams up with the dragon true for like a 10 year old that's probably pretty cool yeah that's yeah 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 you wanted to see her ride the dragon. Oh yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I mean by I wanted that bit to be longer. Yeah, I wanted her to have a bit of like yeah. being like a dragon rider. You wanted her to find a boy dragon, didn't you? Yeah, because uh, oh yeah, because she was like last of my yeah yeah, and I was like, here's the bit where she jumped on and was like, let's go and find a male, let's go and make some babies. But I did say she's centuries old. She's probably like 
done with that stage of her life. Yeah. Yeah, well, like, you don't have to go into that, do you? This is a fairy tale. Like, why would you impose that? Let's just dream. Let's just hope. Okay. okay. Can I interest you in how to train your dragon? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. A good yeah. Maybe this is right up your street, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> so many plot twists. But yeah. far better plot twists than this film. Yeah. 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 But no, I know what you mean. Like, that end bit happened so fast. Yeah. Like, she kind of bested the dragon and then um, they just teamed up and then they conquered it. And that was, like, ten minutes. Yeah. And yeah. I kind of... That would have been a good bit for a montage where they're, like, making a plan. She's yeah. riding around on the dragon. <sighs> then they're like, yeah, then we'll go around here. That would have been amazing. That would that have been so cool. That like a hilarious montage, though. Maybe not what they were going for. <laughs> like, it wasn't supposed to be a hilarious film. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a filmmaker, but... <laughs> That would have been really cool. Like if a, a little like that revenge bit at the end was just drawn out a bit more, that would have been really good. Yeah. Yeah, and if they didn't do so much, like for a minute, I was like, oh, she is going to kill the dragon because she'd like stabbed her in the eye. She'd yeah. like Sarah broken her from the inside. Yeah, stabbed her in the like guts and that. And I was like, oh, this isn't going where I think. She literally is just going to kill her. And I was a bit like, I mean, I wanted them to team up. But I was a bit like, oh, okay, this is interesting. Like, I wonder how this is going to go then because she's going to just slay the dragon and be like, I did that. But then... I did that. Yeah. <laughs> so I could have done with that bit being a bit shorter. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of live fight. Spikes. Yeah. 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 So we kind of have talked about it a little bit, but what else didn't work in this film then? I mean, that that's the story that we've mentioned. Yeah. The characters. Yeah. I think that bit where um, she sees the dead baby dragons and she's like oh, these were killed by this family and then this happened, like, they need to give sacrifice to the dragon. Like, how does she actually know all that happened? Yeah. She saw the dread, dead dragons. They could have died anyway. They could have been, like, eaten by the mum. Instead, yeah. she was just like, I know now what happened. And I was like, well, hang on. Has she had, like, a vision or something? Like, how does she know what we've just seen? Yeah, that yeah really it's not Nola Holmes there. She's, like, surveyed the scene. <laughs> ah, <laughs> let's see that for this. Yeah. yeah. And she didn't know at that point that it was three did she? Like, we knew that they were taking three for every generation. Oh, yeah, generation. she just knew that she was the but first she didn't the one that. in your bride. Yeah. 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 So that didn't make... Yeah. Also, I think, like, Robin Wright and her whole thing was that she was a bit of a cow. <laughs> but they only had to do three brides each. Yeah. Like, she could have done that and been really sad about that. Yeah. Couldn't she? Yeah, she still felt that she had to do it for her people and for her son or like whatever. But it when she went down and there were all of the names, I was like, Oh, this is all Robin Wright's doing. That mm. is awesome. Yeah. But it wasn't. But it wasn't that. Yeah. She only had to do three. She was just the first of those three. Yeah. It would have been over in like a month. What I didn't get, though, was, like, so the dragons come to an understanding with that, like, family line that she will get to eat three kids or whatever, but the dragon can leave. If the dragon was that desperate for revenge, she could have just wiped out that family years and years ago. The dragon could... It did get out of the ca the mountain and stuff. Don't know, that bit kind of didn't add up. Well, I think... Yeah. yeah, like, she definitely could have just eaten all of them. Yeah, exactly. At all points. Yeah. And they found a workaround, hadn't they? Because it wasn't every... Because they'd done this, that blood thing. Mm. Oh, yeah, true. So it wasn't even like... Because she was saying, oh, I want you to feel what my... What I felt with my kids. That queen wasn't suffering at all. She was loving it. She, she got yeah, to kill yeah. three girls. Win, she yeah. loved it. Yeah. Weird. One thing I noticed was, like, generally the effects and the CG was really good. But the size of the dragon, I don't know if you notice this. It's, yeah, the dragon seemed to change size a bit at some points. Like when it was looking far away and it was like compared to a person, it was the size of like a large dog or a horse or something. And then there was a bit where she's fighting and it's like the size of a small house. I noticed a couple of yeah. times. You were like, what's this, weird. cats? Yeah, that's exactly what happens in cats, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was weird. It didn't happen all the time. It was just a couple of times. It was really strange, yeah. And if you want to know more about our thoughts on terrible CGI, go back and listen to our episode on Cats. <laughs> yeah, that's a great film. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Cats again. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I thought well, it was pretty unbelievable that the 
the dad, Ray Winston, would have signed her up to just be chucked into a hole. Yeah. yeah. Like, when he was like, I thought I should do it for my people. And I was like, mm, that's not really fitting with, like, him as a character. No. Yeah. Agreed. And then later yeah. on, he was like, he went to save her, didn't he? And he's like, forgive me. And it's a bit like, well, no. No, yeah. You literally, <laughs> effectively had your kid chucked in a giant hole for a dragon to eat. Mm. Like, you don't get to ask for forgiveness at the end. <laughs> and he couldn't say, like, oh, I planned to go down and get her. Because she'd been there ages. Yeah. 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 And if she had been less good, she would have been eaten immediately. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I don't actually understand what happened there. So she wasn't going to be married to that man because he was going to be, he was going to chuck her in a hole. Mm -hmm. So what was he, what was that dad getting out of it? Was he paid off or something? Yeah, loads yeah. of yeah. Oh, it's just seeing her older than you can ever imagine. Oh, yeah. He said, oh, yeah. oh, I miss that. Apologies. <laughs> Okay, so now it's time for some scores. As usual, we'll look at our three categories. So first up, Enjoyability and Lucy. It's a two from me. Abby. It's a three from me. Dan. A 2.5. Ooh, 2.5 for me, which gives it a total of 10 for Enjoyability. Mm -hmm. On to Shareability. Dan. Zero. <laughs> oh. Luce. <laughs> a three. Ab. A 1.5 from me. Which gives it a total of five. Dan, why zero? I just, I don't know anyone I would, that I think would want to watch this film. We said maybe 10 year olds. I don't really want to go and speak to 10 year olds and recommend films to them, I suppose. But... <laughs> we don't want you to do that either. <laughs> That's a good zero. Uh, but Luce, you want to speak to 10 year olds? Um, no, but I think it's worth a watch for anyone. Fair enough. Yeah. Look at it. That's cool. All. Cool. It's worth a watch, that's all. Cool. Uh, masterpiece ability. Uh, ab. Um, two from me. Loose. One. Dan. A two. And I gave it a three. Ooh, yeah. Quite the masterpiece from Sam. It was really well made. There was really good shots. Like It looked really good on our TV. Like, it was colourful. I really liked it. Hmm. So I hear this guy is directing the new Sword in the Stone film. That, because it's got a really good plot, will be an yeah. amazing film. Yeah, 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 I would like to see Who, that. Who's yeah. directing the film? The director. Uh, Juan so Carlos Fresnia de Leo. <laughs> Cut that out. Amazing. That sounds delicious. <laughs> 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 I think that was a really good pronunciation. Was, yeah. Thank you. So that means we are giving Damsel a total score of 23 out of 60. Ab, any idea how that makes it sit? Uh, yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> but... <laughs> Pretty, pretty low down, <laughs> but better than the killer, which let's face it is all we're ever going for. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah. our baseline now. Better than cats? I think it is better. Than... No, I think cats was better. Was it? I don't really? know. Really? Abby loved cats. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. not forget. Mm. Yeah, I can't remember. And I have no way of finding out. Sorry. There we go. Yeah. Hang on, we've done no discussion on that. Should, do we need to? Anyone else got anything else to do? No. 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 I mean, that's the first score. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a good evening, but not a film I'll probably watch again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. It was a bit basic, wasn't it? Was yeah. A basic bitch, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you took the cast out of it and replaced it with nobody, then I don't think anyone yeah. would want to watch it or, or care about it. I would gladly watch a sequel, but not watch it again. Oh, because a sequel would start with them being friends and being dragging yeah. them yeah. melody. Yeah. That'd be amazing. That's dragon. what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. buddy comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> much like <laughs> pure luck. Yeah. Um, a buddy comedy. Is that how you describe yeah. that? Oh. It's like a. It's two people going to go find the daughter of a wealthy businessman. Mm. One of them's like a private investigator. One's just a hapless guy, and chaos and shoots. <laughs> <laughs> You look so happy. Though. It's really good. We will watch that film one we day. We will watch that film. Maybe. Yeah. I will watch that film today. <laughs> <laughs> we should watch it today. Thank you for coming along to this week's Lads Film Club and joining us where we discussed Damsel. We'd love to know what you thought about it too. Did you also wish that it was a different film? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us know on our Twitter, Insta or Facebook. Find the details in the description. I never put details in the description. So <laughs> anyway, carry on, carry on. And if you enjoyed listening to our podcast, please leave us a rating and review. So grab your popcorn. Round up your lads. Get watching. And join us next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.